here. I, I really enjoyed playing it. Um, I knew Dime, and uh, he actually told me that he studied one of my instructional programs. And uh, when I first met him, in, uh, it was in uh, Orlando, Florida, when my band Nitro was recording. We actually lived out in Orlando for about three and a half months recording. Uh, rented a big, beautiful house and uh, did, it at full, did our record at full sale. Anyway, I thought I was listening to Cowboys from Hell, and I wanted to do a tribute to Dime. And when I first met Dime, it was in a rock club in Florida, when it was called Plus Three. And I remember they had the hottest bartenders there. And we got to know them because we lived out there. And, and my guitar tech named Dragon, who was from Fresno, and he's like, dude, man, there's this awesome new band, bro. I'm like, what are they called, dude? He goes, they're called Pantera, bro. And I was like, what the heck is a Pantera? And he goes, you gotta see it, man. They're playing in Orlando. So we bring the posse. It was the whole band. We had our big van. And we go to uh, this rock club. And there's no cars in the parking lot. And we drive in, and we knew the, the hot bartender, so we're sitting at the bar talking to him, and all of a sudden this band comes on stage, and I see this dude with these long shorts, and it was in the era of the Lakers uh, with Larry, like Boston Celtics with Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, where the shorts are this high, it's like, why, MVA? You know, and this dude comes out with shorts like this, we're like, he looks weird, and here's me in a Hollywood hair metal band, like, no, I don't look weird, and I remember, Going up to the stage, this dime was here on stage left, audience right, and I was standing about 10 feet, probably close, a little closer to where those chairs were, and I'm like this, just watching this dude play. And when he steps, he goes, is that Michelangelo? I'm like, yeah, bro. He goes, I got your instructional video, man. He goes, you're like my guitar teacher, dude. I'm like, awesome, and I'm yelling. And he said, Pante he goes, Pantera is going to dedicate a set to Michael. And, I, and afterwards, I can't say, you know, we were best friends, our paths didn't cross all the time, but, you know, we had hung out over the years, and I thought if he can dedicate a set to me, I want to dedicate something to him. So I'm going to play one of my songs, but I want to start off with a tribute to Dime. Now let's check this out. Now one of the things that I, I've done over the years is to make a clinic more successful, in my humble opinion, it's not a, you know, I can play pretty much any guitar. I have played, people used to make jokes when I went to Canada to play. The distributor would hand me the, the most inexpensive Dean possible action that you needed a hammer to hit down just to see if I could play it, and I did. And uh, I've just got this ability, I've never been hurt ever in my life playing guitar, ever, because I take good care of myself. But I found that I have this ability to play and size up a guitar and an amp in about 30 seconds. What you're gonna hear now, there's zero effects. I have a pedal board with a tuner and an overdrive. And I do this at clinics. I used to use delay. I don't even use delay anymore. Just clean in your face. And I found that because people will always try to find something negative out of a million positives. And what are they gonna say? Dude, he doesn't use any of his own gear. Boy, that sucks. You know, so you can't, you know, I didn't bring in the big pedal board. I didn't bring all my own stuff, not even the cables. And I thought it's one of the best selling points to say, look, it, I'm using what you use, and that's it. So anyway, no more talk. I'm going to shut up and play guitar. That's the shred position.
sorry, there's no monitor in front of me. So when they turned it up, I was like, whoa. So, but, uh, now normally.